What's good, everybody? So, um, I know you guys see it on me. Uh, real quick, I got the Tommy Works hoodies, or the hoodie on, actually. So, I got my own hoodie on that, you know, that I sell on my website, TommyWorks.net. Um, if you guys want to, you know, purchase one. It basically says investing is for winners. Um, I'm big on investing, and I'm big on winning, you know? So, and when I say investing, I mean, it can be, in, like, a myriad of things so it can be investing in yourself investing in the stock market investing in um just numerous different things usually it's really yourself or the stock market or you can even do like you know like if you're a retail investor if you invest into houses you can invest into anything that you want right so anything can be deemed as an investment you collect pokemon cards and all of that so why this is such an important so let me show you guys one more time. Why this is such an important thing to me is because, you know, I feel like people who take the time to invest into their future, invest into themselves, invest into their life, uh, i.e. either the stock market, either they're doing real estate, either there's any their business is an investment. Anything that you guys do can be quantified as an investment. So in my book, you know, if you're taking a risk, if you're investing into yourself, you are ultimately a winner, right? So that's why I say investing is for winners, right? And you know, you guys could go purchase one on a website again. It's Tommy's Works, TommyWorks.net, TommyWorks.net, or TommyWork.net, something like that. So um, you guys go purchase it. I have different colors. I have black, blue, um, green, red, I believe. I might add a couple more colors here and there. But that's what I have for right now. And it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, it looks really, really good, guys. Uh, let me put on the hoodie. Boom, you know what I'm saying? And plus, I'm in Texas. So it's really chilly outside. You know, it's snowing. The light was off. You didn't have any Wi-Fi. So it's pretty intense being out here. But other than that, you know, I'm, I'm staying comfortable in my hoodies and kind of just doing my thing. You feel me? So... What I want to talk to, to you guys today is about a, a recent realization that I had in my life, right? So, um, usually, you know, I talk about like stock market and stuff, but you know, I like to talk about other things too, the stuff that goes on with me as a person, um, my growth, uh, my journey, and just things that I, I go through, you know, uh, that can be something useful to, to others as well. Uh, by the way, I'm 24 years old. Um, I work as a, as a uh, basically a system administrator for a pretty reputable company. Uh, we do a lot of great works. So yeah, so um, yeah, so in regards to that, um, what I decided uh, a point in my life that I came to recently was that a, a realization of myself was that I mean I've I've always known this. It's just that I do not like social media. Uh, maybe that could be because of a, a bunch of different things. Maybe because I don't have such a large following. Maybe because I just don't find it enjoyable. I feel like it's pretentious. I just feel like it's, I mean, it's cool. It's it's a, it's a waste of time sometimes, you know, that maybe you shouldn't know about people's lives so closely. Like, I don't feel like I need to know what this person is doing at this moment or in it, or check up on people that, that were in my past. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's really the reason why, like, so this, this video is about why I deleted all my social media applications, except for Snapchat. Snapchat is the only one I have. Um, but I mean, I have like the less people on it. I have friends, like closer friends. And I like, I don't really be on it often like that, but like I decided like, that's the only one that I still have because it's not really something that I check upon all the time anyway. So it was easy for me to like, it's easier for me to like not pay attention to it. Um, so, you know, me as a person, uh, I never really liked social media. Like I never was in on Twitter. I didn't download it. Like I remember back in high school, I didn't even have a phone, right? Um, I would tell my parents like, I didn't need a phone. Uh, just give me an iPod, an iPod touch, right? And I would just download a text-free app and just because I was always either at school or at home and it always had a Wi-Fi. So I was like, I don't need to be, I don't need to have a phone. I'm not, because I'm not anywhere. I'm just in these two places. So, um, you know, so I was always late to everything, late to Twitter, late to 
kick lead to Instagram. So it, they just never caught my interest. Like I love anime. Um, I, I love YouTube. I think YouTube is a great platform, like one of the best platforms to ever exist on this planet for sure. Um, but yeah, so that's just, just like, that's me. I was always late to things, you know, even in college, I'd never, I, I, I live my life outside of the media, social media, like the application, the network sphere. I live my life outside of that. Um, I always hanging out with my friends, not really posting stuff. Um, but then later on in life, I guess maybe because I started start doing less, I could say maybe that I'll just find myself posting more and just, you know, be on Twitter, like, you know, like it started more with t Twitter, not really Instagram. Instagram was dead. Like I always kind of left that alone. Um, so yeah, I started with Twitter posting a little bit more, but you know, still not really, I wouldn't say more than the average person. Like I try to limit myself, but I noticed that I did start using it more than I used like that than I usually did back in college, like maybe like around soft second semester, sophomore year, around junior year. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I would take breaks on and off of, off of Twitter again, because like I realized that it's such a like a terrible platform. I, like, I really don't like it. And um, to, to me, it's like, you know, the reasons why I, I decided to delete Twitter. And so let me tell you the apps I decided to delete. I don't have TikTok. No, I don't like, that's something I will never download because I don't need to. Like I have no interest in, in adding another app into my life to take up my space with nonsense, right? So I don't have TikTok. I never had it. I, you know, I, all I had was these three things, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I deleted Instagram and Twitter. So I'm, again, I'm giving you guys a backstory about like my Twitter days. So, you know, so start with Twitter and, you know, um, just, you know, making comments here and there. But then I started realizing that Twitter was getting really political, really angst. Like I just didn't want to read. Like I always felt like, like I would read stuff. It like to me when like your subconscious is a lot more present than you think, right? To me, in my opinion. So I feel like I'm the type of person who's like more of a sponge. So like things that I read repeatedly, they get to they or do or even watch, they get to they edge into my subconscious, and I feel like it could possibly alter my thoughts or in my actions, right? So. That's the reason why I didn't like Twitter. Because, you know, it got to a point where I'd be reading stuff. It will be bashing men, be bashing all these type of things. Like, I am i don't want to read things that I disagree with. Because then it's like, then I'm sitting there like, uh, you know, just upset or just like thinking about it that when I don't really want to. You know, like reading things like, like just, just stuff that is just ludicrous, you know? Um, with the people that's on there, especially with their political ideals, their way they look at life, you know, the way they look at life, I don't even agree, agree upon. And the things that people retweet and post, like, especially retweets is just like, it's really just something that I, I just don't like. Like I, sometimes I feel like people shouldn't even be allowed to, to not people, but some people shouldn't be allowed to post their opinions because their opinion is literally like, something totally opposite from what real life is, right? They're just living in some type of, I don't know, some type of just idealized mind fart or something like that, right? So so that's why I'm just like, I used to take breaks off of it and be out of it like six months, four months and not be like post or nothing, not even be on the app because I always felt more at peace and stuff and just, just be doing my own thing, make music, watch TV, not like watch like, you know, like Netflix and stuff like that. Uh, watch anime, you know, read anime, read books and all type of stuff. Mostly was really making music at the time. So right now, you know, um, you know, as time went along, you know, I got back on Twitter and basically, you know, like right now, like I was, I decided to stop. Like that was the first thing I stopped during the new year. It's like, I literally stopped using Twitter January 1st, 2021. Like I stopped it. And so it's been going good. I haven't checked upon it. I haven't looked at anything. It's been kind of just moved, moved past that. Like, I don't want to be on it anymore. I don't need to be on it anymore because I know that, like, the messages people are putting out there. I don't want to read stuff like that and to have some kind of sub subconscious, like, uh, like, thought process in regards to that, right? So I just rather 
move past that. So next we have Instagram. Um, I wasn't on Instagram that much. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I, I wasn't. Like when I graduated college, like even in college, I wasn't on Instagram. When I graduated college, I wasn't on Instagram. As like, like in 2019, not really much. Um, so I never really understood the appeal. You know, I never really understood like why this is here. Like we're just looking at pictures, liking stuff. Like I never understood what the appeal was because I never really cared about people's like life and stuff like that. Like what they do, like I don't really care. So um, yeah, so, you know, me, you know, like I had an ex at the time, you know what I'm saying? She loved all that stuff, like Instagram and she loved Instagram and all that stuff. Um, and me, it's just like, I just, I did, I just really didn't care. And, you know, I, I kind of just would just, again, do my own stuff, right? So I was studying to for my certification, uh, uh, you know, um, so yeah, studying pretty much was primarily what I was doing. I had a job as well, so I would work and study. So I was, you know, I wouldn't be on it. And plus I had like a girl at the time. So it was just like my time was really prioritized. Like I didn't ever really need to be on there. Um, but then, you know, stuff happens and things happen. And me and that individual, we broke up, right? So um, I started using it more, you know, like I started using it more and then it got to me, it, to me, it got to a point where like, like I'm, I started using it more after we ended in our relationship. And, you know, like to me, it was just like, okay, like I kind of see what it's all about. I kind of see like why people are so hard to like let it go or it's why it's like so hard for people to like not be on it and stuff like that. So I kind of see like that part because I, I started getting myself intent like into that when I sh like, I should not, like, not I shouldn't have, but like, but that wasn't me and it to begin with in the first place. So I started using it something more than I used to use it at all. So that wasn't even really me. Like, it's not me. I'm not that type of person that really wants to post pictures and really do stuff like that. Like, I really don't care about stuff like that. I just want to be successful in my own way, you know, like do what I like, do what I want to do pretty much be successful in my own way. Do what I want to do, be around really good people and not have to worry about pr like promoting myself, posting images and trying to like, you know, flex on people, trying to look like this and that. It's not me. Like, I'm just really trying to motivate people. I'm trying to like show people that it can be done by them as well and just, you know, live a good life. Like, that's not in my, like, and then I felt like me being 24 and the young people we had, like the younger like people we have in this world, like guys and females, like we're all so, so absorbed into media, social media. We're all so absorbed into perception and vanity and portraying our lives as this incredible thing where we take pictures with nice clothes on and be at the clubs and be bending down over in some weird poses and stuff like that. Like that's not the type of lifestyle that I want to be a part of, you know what I'm saying? And I felt like I had to because, you know, like I wanted to like get girls, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to, you know, like, yeah, like, like promote myself, you know what I'm saying? Like see, like, you know, let girls know like, oh, I really got it. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that, you know, but then it never, it just never was me. Like I just wasn't happy. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't like it and it just felt like, I just didn't like it, man. I, I never felt good on it. And I never wanted to check what people's lives were. I don't really, I'm not interested in that. And sometimes people post their opinions on the little story stuff they have up there. And let me tell you, Instagram is made perfectly to get people to be on there forever. Like they give you these shiny circular balls at the top of your, 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 um, your user interface and where you just scrolling up and your mind is always going to take you up there and just click, click, click watch what this is, look at this and scroll and be on there forever and and look up people in your past. That's one thing that I just don't like doing and I just didn't want to, I don't want to keep like, keep like in contact there with people from my past. Like I don't want to search people up and watch, watch what they're doing and watch your stories. Like I don't want to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I just rather not know what they're doing and I rather focus on what I'm doing and just keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's just like, just people that I'm I'm still friends with, like, I just don't wanna be that type, like, I'm just not that type of person. So really, I came to that conclusion and I realized that like, yo, you was much happier when you didn't have any of this, like, or doing any of this to please anybody. And you were just living your life, man. Like, 
you you know like you need to and you know sometimes i i try to like it's not like i'm addicted or anything trust me i'm far from that like i wasn't as i'm not on it as much as other people but like i knew that it was turning me into somebody eventually who would eventually be like that so i was just like uh no um so um yeah so basically you know i that was the decision i made um to stop it um social media is really impacting a lot of people my age a lot of people even younger because we all do this for for secular reasons like think about it like we're guys we show off and do all these type of stuff for what reason you know for girls you know what i'm saying and girls do it for what i don't know for other girls you know girls do stuff for other women at this point uh to show off and and shit like that and they do it for guys too you know like everybody does it for each like for each other so um i'm just not gonna play that that game you know what i'm saying and honestly yeah i deleted it um i feel good man it's like i, I feel really good um you know this ain't no self-help like whatever just get letting you guys like into my mind and stuff a little bit but i feel good you know i'm i'm still gonna promote myself the best way i know how with which is youtube um, I got my job, like, I'm just working as hard as possible, not really distracted, not on my phone checking stuff. Um, st still, of course, still studying, still hitting the gym, um, trying to, but the snow, you know, it's, it's just crazy right now. Um, um, yeah, just regular stuff, like, taking time to watch, like, some, some, some good shows, you know, taking time to read some books, make my YouTube videos. Just do the stuff I like to do, you know what I'm saying? And not be a part of that world. Like I like I like to be by myself, like with myself. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 really it. And I'm just letting you guys know that basically if you're that type of person, don't feel like you need to be like like you need stuff like that for your life to to go on or to be in the mix. Like, bro, you're good. You don't need to be doing that stuff. You're fine. Like you're not gonna miss out on anything because everybody's on it and you're not bro just take time to yourself delete it even if it's only for a couple of months just delete it and see how see how it is and just you know keep it pushing if you want to jump back jump back but like know when you when you can take breaks like you everybody needs a break once in a while from things like that um because the way things are is just designed for people to to just not know what real life is you know what i'm saying um yeah, so I don't live for others. I don't live to impress others or none of that or please anybody, you know. So the only person that I'm trying to please is God and uh, and myself. So I'm not out here trying to do none of that because it, it, it just, it's a waste of time. Um, I can promote myself via YouTube. So again, catch it, tellmeworks.net. Please, uh, it's going to be in the description. Just hit it up. Get some, some of your hoodies. I love these hoodies, man. Fire, fire, fire hoodies. You know what I'm saying? Then you put the hoodie on. Fire, fire, fire. So, um, yeah, man. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, just y'all stay out of stay out of that like that 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 rat race like that. Stay out of that stuff, man. And delete delete your social media. Enjoy your life. You know what I'm saying, enjoy your life. Um. Um, take care of business, you know, like there's a lot of other stuff that you guys can be doing. Um, yeah, man, like, you know, who the top person you are, like what you can handle. Some things not everybody can handle. That doesn't make it a, like, that doesn't make it a bad thing for you. Just know like the type of person you are, like you shouldn't be doing that. Cause it's not, that's not you. So, um, yeah, man, just, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't want to just keep rambling. Um, I hope you guys really understood. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I need to say, per se, or not. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, man. Just, uh, just you guys, you know, um, it's it's been pretty fun. Like, it's been pretty, it's been a pretty good time. You know, I'm still talking to people. I still talk to you. Like, you're not gonna miss out on nothing, nobody. Honestly, it's kind of stupid. Like, once I really think about it, it's kind of stupid. You know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um all right guys i really appreciate y'all and peace out